Hello Gemini, welcome to Star Child Tarot. We're doing your April horoscopes. So we're going to look at general tarot. We're going to look at some love messages and some guidance at the end for April. So thank you so much. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my channel. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And if you're returning, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Appreciate that. I also have another channel, Soul Magic Inspirations. The link is down below. And I also have a card shop online um, with over 90 decks of tarot and oracle. And I also have a Patreon page as well, so check that out. So what does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know about April? What does Gemini need to know about April? Six of Swords. Four of Wands. The Moon. Four of Pentacles. So why is the Six of Swords now? Why is the Six of Swords now? Why is the Six of Swords now? Got the Hangman. Nine of Swords. Eight of Wands. Queen of Cups. So we've got the Six of Swords clarified by the Hangman. So the Six of Swords is moving away from our past with the lessons learned. You know, we don't take the baggage with us, we just take the lessons. Um, moving into smooth water. So it could have been through some difficult periods, but the Hangman is like a pause on that. Okay, maybe there's some hesitancy before you move forward in life. But we've got the Four of Wands, which is wanting that commitment, that stability, um, a stable commitment with somebody and it's clarified by the nine of swords so maybe a fear of commitment here um anxiety depression sleepless nights worries over that maybe maybe you had a bad experience in the past with that we've got the moon energy clarified by the eight wands so the moon is that hidden aspect you know the darker aspects of ourselves that shadow side but it's also that feminine side but there is going to be communication, um, messages, okay, fast communication coming in, passionate messages. We've got the Four of Pentacles, which is talking about um, not being generous, you know, holding on to what we have, not being very giving. Clarified by the Queen of Cups, which I always see as somebody very giving, very loving. Um, so you could be in two minds about this could be an aspect of you the queen of cups or this is somebody that you're going to connect with and you're not giving to that situation for some reason so let's clarify these energies so why is the six of swords now why is the six of swords now got nine of wands energy so Fire sign energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You could meet somebody who's a fire sign, and the fire, the night energy is fast movement. They want you to move forward, but you're in that pause energy. Maybe you're not trusting in that person or that situation. Maybe they're wanting to rush you towards this Four of Wands energy. Why is the Four of Wands there? Queen of Wands energy. So they could feel that you're the one for them. They feel that you're a match with that both fire energy. I mean, you could have fire in your chart. But the queen is looking away from the night, if you look at the cards. So you're looking in a different... This isn't what you're... I feel this person isn't what you're looking for. But we've got the moon. So there's something hidden. We've got the knight of swords. She's looking towards the knight of swords. 
So this could be another person, um, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini coming towards you. Both fast moving energies, both night energies, could both be younger than you. Okay, there could be a choice here of two people. But the Queen is looking towards the night, the, the air sign energy. Fast communication again. But we've got that Four of Pentacles, so not giving to a situation. So maybe you're not giving to any situation here. Why is the Four of Pentacles there? Maybe you're not wanting to give to either of these people. Why is the Four of Pentacles there? We've got King of Pentacles. So that is that earth sign energy. So maybe you're looking for somebody more mature, um, earth sign energy. You're some you're looking for somebody more solid, more stable. Yeah, we've got Queen of Pentacles energy here. You want someone to match you in your energy, um, and both be in that giving energy. And if you look at the cards. They've both got a coin. You know, it's equal. And you want somebody equal to give to you. That's what I'm feeling. You want somebody in that equal energy, like the six of coins energy, that equal give and take. And that's what you're looking for. And that could be why the hangman energy is there. Because you're waiting for that to come in. Why is the hangman there? Ace of Wands, yeah, you, you do want a passionate new beginning, but I feel you're waiting for the right person, someone who matches you energetically and also in their give and take. And, you know, that's why you could be having sleepless nights and worries because the people you've met so far haven't been like that for you. Yeah, there's been conflict. And this could be internal conflict, I feel, for you between head and heart. You could have had feelings for people, but they didn't match you in that energy. So what's that Eight of Wands about? What's that Eight of Wands about there? What's that Eight of Wands about? We've got Knight of Pentacles here. So... This is that slow moving energy, earth sign energy. So it might take a while, I feel, before the person comes towards you with a solid offer. There could be lots of communication going on around you with these other people, but you're waiting for that solid offer because this could be your energy, the Queen of Cups. You're, you've got love to give. You've got love to give someone and you want you want it equal back. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you want a solid offer from somebody. You want... Somebody to match your energy. So can you tell Gemini any more about this situation? Yeah, we've got Ten of Swords. So yeah, you've had a lot of worries. I feel we've had a lot of worries over this, okay, but you're coming out of that with that Ten of Swords, you're coming out of that energy. And we've got Two of Pentacles, so that there is a decision to be made, you're weighing up the pros and cons here. And we've got Three of Cups. Yeah, so you may have been involved in a third party situation and that, that could have caused your, you know, not wanting to move forward with somebody unless they had a serious offer. Why is the Three of Cups there? Yeah, you've gained in strength, okay? You're much stronger now. And you know what you're deserving of, what you're worthy of. Yeah, you want that Six of Pentacles, as I said earlier. You want that balance, give and take. But there is going to be a passionate message coming towards you here. Okay, let's get some love messages for Gemini. Love messages for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know about it? April? Does Gemini need to know about April? Can't believe how quick this year is going. I don't know if anyone else is feeling that. Strange. Some minutes it sounds, seems to drag and then it just seems really quick. So, messages for Gemini for April. Love messages for Gemini for April. What do they need to know? Yeah, we've got going within. So, go within to really connect to what it is you want yourself you know moving forward in your love life 
yeah you're quite happy being single you know you'd rather be single i feel than with the wrong person because you're wanting a supportive love you know like i say that give and take energy but we have got a divine masculine energy coming towards you here okay as i said you're going to have somebody match your energy So what does Gemini need to know about love? Yeah, you're going to have the truth and clarity. You're going to know exactly what you want. Yeah, there is a new love coming in for you. We saw that. And you could be very different. We've got differences of track. You could be from different countries, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different religious beliefs. There's something about you. You're very different. But, you know, differences of track, that's the part of the attraction isn't it that we have for people so what else for gemini and love yeah you're going to have gestures of love coming in romantic gestures of love you're going to see the light you're going to understand what it is you truly want yeah you're doing that healing that inner work anything else This is my romantic mermaid deck, by the way. Wow, look at that. It's the divine connection coming in. As you know, it's a destined connection. So let's get some final messages. And it does seem to be a lot of people are coming together with their counterparts this year. Which is what I felt was going to happen. So messages of guidance for Gemini, please. Messages of guidance for Gemini. Yeah, be confident. Be confident of who you are, of what you deserve. Live your life with passion. What are you passionate about? And follow your dreams. You know, unless you have a dream, how can you make your dream come true? That famous song from South Pacific that I'm always quoting... You know, we, we need dreams. You know, how do you achieve your dreams unless you have a dream? So believe in your dreams, manifest your dreams into reality because you deserve all good. So there are your messages for April. Lots of love and blessings.